My name is Liam Mandeville, and this is The Swag Minutes, a local UNM podcast where we cover all of the hot topics and all of the new cool shit right here in the queue. Today, uh, my special guest is Dylan Robinson, what a up? member of the local Albuquerque punk scene. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to be talking about it, we're going to get into it, and it's going to be fucking swag. Um, all right. Um, so, my uh, first question for you here on the Swag Minutes. What are some of the goals and purpose within the Albuquerque punk scene? Well, I would say, you know, our goal and purpose is really just to create a community where... You know, people from, you know, adverse groups or minorities can just come to a place and chill and rock out and be, you know, who they are, you know, freely and openly without, you know, hate or discrimination. Yeah. What usually uh, goes on at Mm. these events? A lot of things, you know. I've had trash cans thrown at me, you know. There's can be a fair share of violence. But then there's also, you know, a great community, you know, within all that, you know, where all these people, you know, in in midst of all these, you know, the craziness, you know, we all care about each other. And it's like, kind of like a family, you know, like a community. That's beautiful. Yeah. Um, what What are some of the values that you guys have? Like, as a community. You know, helping one another out, you know. We're a big community. We're like a family. You know, we want to help one another. There's a lot of, you know, food drives, um, clothing drives. A lot of times there's, um, you know, um, what would I call it? Like, drug awareness, Narcan, free Narcan available, you know, at a lot of these shows. You know, the whole goal is just, you know, help each other out. We're all struggling in this crazy world yeah you know help each other out have you ever had any personal experiences having to help other people out yeah i mean there's been times where you know people are you know they might be a little under the influence and they need a little help getting getting home or you know calling some people and i'm always there to you know help out someone in need you know because that might be me you know you never know what can happen exactly Mm -hmm. well that's great um, so, what exactly is it like? Um, that is, it's... To be a member of this, uh, Well, this I've community. been going since I was, like, 15, so a couple years now, and it's, I don't know, it's like a, just a fun, I don't know. I, we all know, everyone knows each other, you know, mm-hmm. everyone's kind of related to someone, some way or form, you know, you're always connected. Um, what was the question? Sorry, I like one blank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is it like, I guess? Just, you know, like a community, a close-knit community. <laughs> I don't know, like any other... Oh, gosh. Community, that's like a big thing in like the punk scene. It's just a community, a caring community, you know? That's good. That's how I view it. You know, there's craziness and violence, but at the end of the day... You know, it's a very close community. <laughs> what was your uh, favorite concert that you've been to? Probably the Descendants concert. That was crazy. Descendants is iconic punk band. That was amazing. Are they a local band? No, Descendants is, like, world famous. Like, the fact that you don't know who they are kind of... My bad. Kind of makes bad. me question our friendship, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. But there's a lot of other, you know, great, you know, local bands. Like, On My Deathbed, I think their they're drummer, uh, Dave, he goes to UNM. That's cool. Um, was Blue local? I think Blue was local. There's Mishap. Mishap's pretty cool. Uh, Price of Life, they're pretty cool. You know, there's... Albuquerque has a really, you know, amazing music scene, not just, you know, punk. You know, we're really... New Mexico is a very creative, artistic place. 
yeah, I can tell with like the wagon wheel and mm-hmm. the L Ray and the launch pad and mm-hmm. then like, there's like there's at least five in Albuquerque. There's so many places. It's kinda sad because all the the DIY venues like La Chancla we're going to um, and uh, Fly Honey, they're all closing down because, you know, shit's crazy and expensive, you know, and they've been doing it for so long. So hopefully soon we're going to, you know, start seeing some new DIY venues. That'll be cool. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to start one right here in this dorm. I've told you about my ideas. I'm not going to say them in case someone's to steal them, you know. I don't know who might be listening to this. Well, I mean, your dorm room's basically the size of the wagon wheel. Hey, give it a little more credit. Give it, I, think you got, I think the wagon wheel has a good six feet on me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, what would we call it? The the, I'm the not, Vargas? Oh, yeah, DeVar, um, I don't know. the Vargas something. The DeVargas Dungeon of Doom. Oh, fuck yeah, that sounds <laughs> sick as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what is some common language slash slang that you guys use in this community? I can't really think of anything except for, I think it's, um, no one turned away for lack of funds, you know? So, meaning, you know, you can go to a show, and if you have, like, two dollars, they're still gonna yeah, let you Yeah, that's in. a big thing that I like, because you know, I'm always fucking broke. Yeah, because music's for everyone, and everyone here is fucking broke. We all, we're all struggling, and, you know, like I said, the, the whole scene is just here to help each other out, you know? It's a big, crazy family. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Um, is there any, like slang you guys use to refer to like the bands and like the music um, like more specifically fucking I don't know what, is it, what do I call it like the different names for the mosh pits you know we got the fucking karate pit and that shit you're gonna like lose your head someone's gonna kick your head off you gotta push pit I mean you know just your typical slang BYOB bring your own beer <laughs> Yeah, that sounds cool. Yeah. Um, so what's your favorite thing about the Albuquerque punk scene? I just like how we're all, you know, it's, Albuquerque's a pretty small place, you know, it's, compared to the LA scene, you know, we're microscopic. And I just like how we all kind of know each other, you know, you meet one person and that opens, you know, a door to a whole bunch of cool people. I just like that, and I like how, you know, everyone kind of seems to care for each other. You know, it could be all crazy, but if someone, you know, fell or looks like they're struggling, someone will will come and help you, regardless if they know you or not. Yeah. You know? And I think that's great. What's, uh, what's your craziest story? Um, this is, like, kind of on the topic of, you know, community, family, but I was at this show at the Wagon Wheel a couple years back, and it was... It was crazy. It was packed. Like, you could not even see. I couldn't see because I'm, like, two feet tall. And, like, I remember I was running in the circle. And then I, I fell. And I was like, oh, this is where I'm, I'm going to die right now because I'm going to be trampled. But some tall angel grabbed my wrist and yanked me out and he saved my life. So, shout out to that man. Wow. That's crazy. Beautiful. Do you ever figure out his name? I don't even know who he was, what he looked like. I just remember falling down like, no! Uh, <laughs> and being yanked out. Yeah. Well, that sounds cool. Nice. I, I'm glad they were there, there, there for you, man. Yeah, there's, always, there's always someone there. <clears throat> you know, that's a good thing. That's good. Mm-hmm. Um, do you feel that this is like a community that should be like appreciated or valued? Yeah, in Albuquerque. I, I think so. I think, you know, I feel like this community is doing good for, you know, Albuquerque as a whole, you know. We are helping out, you know, the homeless population. We're helping out people, you know, who, with, you know, drug addictions, you know, by, you know, just giving them support, you know, offering, you know, free Narcan, you know, edu- educating, you know, younger teens about the dangers of drug use, you know, 
I feel like we are, you know, doing good. There's a lot of cool things going on mm-hmm. besides music, you know. That's cool. Yeah, it's like a great, great community. Yeah. Is there, know. is there a huge drug problem within the community? I mean, I don't know. There's a huge drug problem in Albuquerque, period. You know, and then there's a lot of people in the community who use. It's a lot of people use, you know, it's, you know, people have a lot of shit going on, you know, and Mm -hmm. it's hard to find, you know, maybe people can't afford, you know, the right treatment like therapy or, you know, help their problems. So they, you know, use drugs and instead of, you know, shunning them away, be like, get the fuck out of here, you fucking crackhead, you know, need to take care of them, you know, help them out when they're struggling. Exactly. That's what I think. Yeah. That's a good fucking mission for your community. You know, because it's not just the punk scene, there's everyone struggling right now, and then you know, the opioid epidemic going on, you know, everyone and their grandma, literally. Is doing fucking crack. Not crack. Not crack, but like. Just like the opioids, the pain pills are taking over, and then now, you know, I don't have the most, I'm not the most educated, but you know, from my own personal, there are people who, you know, they're getting addicted to these painkillers and then the doctors cut them off or they can't get their painkillers. So they go to the street and you know, the street, you can't, you'll buy something and you'll get, you know, something totally different, you know, you never know what you're gonna get. It's just really dangerous. Yeah. Well, I'm glad the community's there to help. So, uh, one of the, my favorite stories that you've told me on our, our hangouts is about the Burger King beatdown. Tell, tell the, tell the listeners, the swagman, it's a little bit more about that. The Burger King (laughs) beatdown, sadly, the Burger King is, I think it got demolished, but it was Burger King off, um, the 25 in Alameda, and I think probably the owner was connected with the bands, whatever, and they just threw up ragers at the Burger King. It was a huge Burger King, and we'd have people climbing on the play place. The, it was a big fucking glass room, and the whole room would just turn into a sauna. Like, you would walk out of the, go outside, you know, in between sets, and it would feel like you would just walked out of a shower and just put on your clothes. Wow. It was crazy. That sounds like a fucking blast, bro. It really was. It's It was great. I love that. Yeah, I, I'm kind of jealous of all the cool experiences you get to have. I don't know. Can, I, I'm from Kansas, and we don't really we don't really have a scene like that. Leavenworth's full of, you know, old people and Republicans. Mm-hmm, and but the Midwest is the home of the Midwest emo scene. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I never really got too involved in it. Um, kind of a hippie. Uh, hippie dude. But, <laughs> I don't know. I I think it would be cool to explore it. Like, especially, I mean, we have a whole ass fucking song dedicated to the Midwest emo. Have you heard Resonance, Midwest emo version? It's fucking incredible. I will play it in the background. Okay. But, um... It, one of my one of my favorite memories is going to the roller rink and having them play that on the speaker and just doing fucking circles with my fucking friends. It was amazing. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, do you have anything else you kind of want to add to add to this podcast? No, just you know the ABQ punk scene. You know, it's just a big community. You know, we just care about the people. Yeah. That's the main point. That's the main message, yeah. Yeah. Community, caring, love. Peace and love. Yeah. That's the main main message. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um well, uh, to my listeners, this has been the Swag Minutes and our discussion with Dylan Robinson. Thank you for total expert um in the punk scene. Yeah. Um this has been our discussion on the Albuquerque punk scene. Stay tuned for further episodes. Um, I think our next episode will discuss the hippies. The hippies. And then maybe 
the crisis that is Lapu. Lapu. <laughs> the fucking nasty ass dining hall. I'm down for it. Invite me for that. I'm Dead down. ass. Hippies and the connection to La Posada, the grossest dining hall on the fucking planet. I don't know, maybe not the fucking planet, but... I feel like BYU would have really bad, a really good dining hall. Oh. I don't know. Do you think uh, the soaking thing is like a real shit, real thing? It is. I asked my Mormon friends, like, about the soaking, and I asked if there's like any serial soakers. You have to, you guys are gonna have to um, come to our episode on soaking. Oh yes, uh, so, that'll be episode three. If you want to hear more about our thoughts on soaking and uh, Mormonism and hippies, episode three, you better be there. Yeah, stay fucking tuned. Mm-hmm. This has been the Swag Minutes signing out. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, peace and love, motherfucker.